Welcome to KBase. KBase is the Department of Energy's Systems Biology Knowledge Base. This quick start guide will get you started on all there is to do in KBase. To create a KBase account, first navigate to kbase.us, then click the Sign Up button. You will be prompted to create a new account using an existing Google, Orchid, or Globus account. You can link all three to the same KBase account after it has been created. When you create an account, you will first choose a KBase username. Then you will be prompted to include your organization. Most institutions and universities will already be listed, but you can include free text if yours is not. Then you'll be asked about how you heard about KBase. Finally, you'll have an opportunity to read our user agreement and data policy which you must agree to before using KBase. Once you've created your KBase account, you'll be taken to the Narratives Navigator. Narratives are interactive, reproducible notebooks containing KBase data and analysis. To create a new narrative, click on the New Narrative button in the top right. When a new narrative is created, it will be blank except for a welcome cell. This cell contains quick start links to the documentation and will show notifications of upcoming outages as they occur. In the panel on the bottom left corner of the screen are the apps. These can be searched to find a specific app or browsed by category. Above the apps panel is the data panel. In a new narrative this will be completely empty and then we'll list all of the data objects in the narrative as they are added. When you first create a narrative, the first recommended step is to name the narrative and give it a description through markdown cells. To rename the narrative, simply click on the current name, which then opens a dialog box where you can change it. To add a markdown cell, simply click on the paragraph button in the bottom right to add the cell, then double click on it to begin typing. Markdown cells not only allow you to organize your thoughts and provide contextual information about your analysis, but also help readers of the narrative understand the workflow if you choose to make the narrative public. To add data to the narrative, click on the Add Data button and then go to the Import tab. For this example, we'll import a FASTQ file as reads. We'll find the FASTQ reads type from the dropdown, then click the Import button. This will add an importer to the narrative. We'll set the parameters and run. Once the import has finished, there will be a new object in the data panel. You can explore that object by clicking on the name to add a viewer to the narrative. Apps to analyze the data can be added from the Apps panel in the bottom left corner. If you know the app you're looking for, you can search by name. Another easy way to find an app is to select an object in the data panel and click on the Filter Apps by Input button to view only apps that accept that object type as input. To add the app to the narrative, click on the app name. Once it's added to the narrative, you can fill out the parameters. The parameters for each app vary, but the required parameters for all apps have a red mark to the right of the field. When at least all the required parameters have been set, you can click the Run button to start the app. When the app has run, it will progress from sending to queued to running and finally finished. The current status and a timer will always be displayed in the app cell to check at any time. Once the job is complete, you'll see the new object in the data panel. To give other users access to a narrative, you can click on the Share button and then Manage Sharing. If the narrative has not been named, you'll be prompted to do so here. From here, you can allow other users to see data and analysis by giving them view-only permissions or invite them to contribute by giving them edit and save or edit, save, and share privileges. You can make the narrative view-only to all KBase users by clicking on the Make Public option. You can also share the narrative with a select group of users as an organization by clicking on the Orgs tab and then associating with one of your orgs. To find or join orgs, go to the orgs page. 
From this page, you can search through your orgs or search for other orgs to join. If you find an org to join, you can go to the orgs page and then click Join This Organization. Once you have completed your analysis, you might want to share it as part of a publication. To do this, you can create a static narrative. Static narratives are snapshots of the narrative at a given point in time that are shareable and viewable outside of Kbase. To create a static narrative, it must first be made public. Then a static narrative can be created by clicking Share, then Manage Static Narratives, then Create Static Narrative. The underlying narrative can still be changed after creating a static narrative, but the static narrative will not reflect these changes. You can get a new static narrative to show the changes by returning to Manage Static Narratives and clicking Create New Static Narrative. This will generate a new static narrative, but the old static narrative will still exist under the previous URL. In this case, you can see that the new version of the static narrative reflects the changes, while the previous version does not. For more detailed guides to using Kbase, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when new tutorials are posted, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at DOE Kbase. If you run into an error, you can submit a ticket to our help desk. Thanks for watching.